A shop which sold same mark price shirts announced an offer. If one buys three shirts, then the fourth shirt is sold at a discounted price of rupees hundred only. Patel took the offer. He left the shop with twenty shirts after paying rupees twenty thousand. So, what is the mark price of the shirt? He purchased how many shirts? Twenty. He purchased twenty shirts. So, can I say he must have asked for fifteen shirts? The remaining five shirts will get a discount of for hundred rupees. So, let's say the mark price of each shirt is x rupees. So, for these fifteen shirts, he must have paid fifteen into x. And for the remaining five shirts, he'll pay five into hundred. That is equal to five hundred rupees. So the net amount paid by him must be equal to twenty thousand. So what you'll get here: fifteen x is equal to twenty thousand rupees minus five hundred, which gives you nineteen thousand five hundred. So fifteen x is equal to nineteen thousand five hundred. X must be equal to nineteen thousand five hundred divided by fifteen. You we'll cancel it out. Fifteen into one, fifteen into three, so what you'll get thirteen hundred rupees. X was the mark price. The marks mark price of each shirt will become thirteen hundred rupees. So the correct answer is thirteen hundred.